Minimalism is a hot keyword for 2017 in Korea. Minimalism refers to a simple lifestyle which eliminates the unnecessary in everything from objects to human relations. We look into the social phenomena brought about by the minimalism trend. This is an apartment located in Seoul, the house of Sonerim who married four years ago, features few objects but lots of empty space. The only things in the living room are a decorative stand, a table, and an air conditioner. It's because she is a minimalist who has been practicing the minimalism lifestyle for two years. When we got home, we felt as if we had to work instead of experiencing rest. We argued often and cleaning up was difficult. This led us naturally to a minimal life. The first order of business upon deciding on a change in lifestyle was to part with precious belongings. Thanks to two years of effort, only the bare necessities are left. There was some concern that this could cause discomfort but the gains have far outweighed the losses. With a minimal life, it's important to organize space first and then to determine the items which benefit that space. For example, the number of hangers in a closet is predetermined. Only clothing which fits the hangers is then stored. The recent minimalism trend emerged around 2010. It was largely thanks to Joshua Fields, Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus of the U.S. In Japan, minimalism emerged as a new alternative lifestyle in the wake of the 2011 East Japan earthquake. Hot on the heels of the U.S. and Japan, the minimalism trend has also made its way to Korea. What's the reason for minimalism's global appeal? It's a cloud lifestyle similar to storing files on a cloud server. Even without having something in my home, I can consume in the form of taking it out whenever I need it. This is becoming a global trend. Some analysts believe the rise of single-person households led to minimalism's rapid expansion. Meanwhile, the minimalist trend is changing industry after all. Electronics makers are targeting the market with small but useful products. In the past, customers preferred bigger, large-scale appliances. Now their appliance purchase preferences lean towards simple and personally tailored items. Simple lifestyles are leading to simplified consumption. Experts cite this as a positive effect of minimalism. The start was the concession that modern consumer society wasted resources excessively. The format of the sharing economy is becoming an efficient method of consumption by sharing existing goods and maximizing their value. Originally, minimalism was aimed at avoiding materialism and pursuing mental values. In other words, one must have one's own standards regarding minimalism. Spatial designer and minimalist Im Seung-min always places even the smallest items in their designated spot and stays organized at all times. The aim is to not only reduce the number of objects, but to change lifestyle patterns and thereby set a direction for one's life. Im Seung-min also tries to embody these ideas in design. People first focus on items or furniture when taking up minimalism. However, the focus should be on people, not furniture. Rather than dwelling on a bed itself or bed storage, one must consider how to live in the simplest, most minimal way. This will naturally lead to fewer objects. Minimalism poses questions to a world in which the possession of big houses, hefty paychecks and expensive items have become a measure of success and happiness. The true minimalism trend is about finding ways to protect the environment and maximize ethical consumption through simplified spending. Minimalism had its start in a search for human and mental values. From this perspective, the minimalism trend must expand further as a method of consumption for future generations and sustainable development. Minimalists who cast away obsession with possession and focus instead on the true values of life are presenting not only a new lifestyle, but an entirely new standard for happiness.